At first glance, Oromia might not look like a region racked with tension. But back in November, hundreds of people took to the streets to protest against the government plan to extend the municipal boundaries of the capital, Addis Ababa. They said the project would force hundreds of farmers from their land. Activists say the demonstrations were peaceful, but were met with violence by security forces. The government later withdrew the plan, but the protests continued, and killings and arbitrary arrests were reported almost daily. According to Human Rights Watch, security forces have killed 400 people and injured thousands of others during the protests in Oromia. The violence has triggered the country's worst political crisis in years. The Oromo are the largest ethnic group in Ethiopia and have long complained about not being allowed enough political representation. Promises made by this government and the expectations of our people uh, went in a disarray. Members of the opposition say they have carried out their own research about what happened in Oromia and were keen to show us their findings. The killings, uh, beatings, the harassment, the imprisonment, the eviction has also continued now still. And uh, we have, I can give you a copy, well documented. These are the people that we have by the name of the people who were assassinated. Per our document, we have 301. The government rejects the report's findings and says there was a problem, but it's been addressed. We should not be in the business of comparing numbers. People are trying to take advantage of the situation, and they would come up with all kinds of numbers. So I, my headache is not whether those numbers are, are right or, not, or wrong. My headache is whether this crisis should have happened in the first place or not. For now, the protests in Oromia seem to have calmed down. But as long as Ethiopians feel they aren't allowed to express their grievances publicly and ask for change, the tension here is likely to continue. Annelies Borges, TRT World, Oromia.